In this video, I'm going to talk about a security vulnerability in C called heap inspection. And even though it's a fun example, if we're going to use dynamically allocated memory in C to store sensitive data, it is something we really, we really want to be aware of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dynamically allocate space to store a password on the heap. And we may think that when we use free to free up that memory, it clears the memory, but we're going to find it doesn't do that. Let's go over this example. We're going to say here, car star passwords. That way I have my pointer to allocate things with on the heap. Then I'm going to say number sign include stdlib.h. And I, I need stdlib if I'm going to use malloc. And I'm going to say password is equal to, and I'm going to allocate space for a password with nine characters when we include the null terminator. So I'm going to say malloc space for 10 characters, so 10 times the size of characters, because malloc expects the number of bytes that we need on the heap to be allocated as an argument. And this will then store nine character password when we include the null terminator. And then what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user for the password. So I'm going to tell the user, hey, this is the trustworthy program. And because it's right in the name that it's trustworthy, you should really trust it. And then we'll ask them to enter their password. So we'll say, enter your password. And then we'll scan F that password and we'll store it into this dynamically allocated character array. So we're going to store the password that they enter into this password uh, that we've, this password uh, dynamically allocated character array that we've created in memory there. And then when we're done with it, we're going to free the password. Now, what we might think happens is that when we free password, that the memory is cleared, like maybe it's set to zero or something like that. But that's not the way it works. All free does is it makes available again the space that was allocated. So malloc basically is dynamically allocating space that is no longer available. All free does is make that space available again so that it could be used as, you know, as it could be returned actually as available space as part of another malloc or calloc or realloc function call. So it doesn't actually clear the space. It just makes it available again. That's all it does. So for example, let's say we have like another pointer here and this other pointer, it's actually also going to point to the password space. So it's going to point to the same space as password. We're going to say other pointer is equal to password because remember ultimately pointers really all they are is memory addresses, right? Malloc returns a memory address that password stores. So when we say other pointer is equal to password here, we're going to set other pointer to the same memory address as password. So now we, we've freed password and we think we're done with it, but really our program still maintains, say, a pointer to that same space. And what we're going to do is even though we've freed password, we're going to actually loop through the characters stored at the memory address other pointer, and we're going to actually see what's there. So we're going to say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a printf of all the characters there. So we're going to say printf percent c other pointer i. And what this is doing is it's going to go through the, the 10 characters where, where things could be stored at, at the password memory address one at a time. It's going to print out each character there. And then when we're, when we're done, we'll just put, do a printf new line just to kind of clean it up a little bit in terms of the output. Okay, so let's give this a shot and see what happens. Okay, so we run this here. Trustworthy program, enter your password. I'm gonna say like test one, two, three. So we enter test one, two, three in and hit enter. So even though we've freed the password, this code here was still able to access that place in memory and print out the password. So this is a security vulnerability. Because what could happen is that the memory for your program could be dumped, for example, and your password could be left in memory. Your program could also use malloc or realloc to allocate space. And they would find potentially that sensitive data already in that space in memory, which could make it maybe accessible to others in a way that it shouldn't be. So we really got to worry about this. This is something we got to watch out for if we're storing sensitive data on the heap. We may want to do things like store our data in an encrypted format on the heap or clear the memory before we free it. Check out PortfolioCourses.com.
where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.